Hey, let me tell you about this uh, tree right here. This tree has got some climbing sticks on it. You can see them in the background there. And they go up there probably, uh, that's probably about 22 feet of climbing sticks there. Let me ask you a question. Would you, as a bow hunter, would you put a lock on on this tree and use these existing climbing sticks to hunt if this is where you wanted to be, if this was a good spot? And, and, and it kind of is. There's a food plot area right here. There's another one probably 75 yards right over there. Uh, it, it's in a good area, but let's just say you wanted to hunt this spot. Would you trust climbing sticks that were in a tree like this? I tell you why. I used to say I wouldn't, but I personally would. And I'm a big boy. Fat boy here, 285 pounds. I have been up and down these sticks right here just to uh, prove the point, just to say, hey, yeah, they're legitimate. Reason being is they're steel and they're screwed into this red oak here with lag bolts and they've been there so long. You can see up there, you can see the tree is growing around it in spots where the lag bolts are. And, and this is rock solid. You cannot, I can't, I can't move it. I've climbed up and down this and it never, there, there was never even a wiggle. These are more solid than any set of climbing sticks that you're gonna go buy today and put up today. I guarantee this is safer and more solid. And this particular property, I know we're, oh gosh, I don't know, as few as eight, as many as 12 of these setups are that are in great places. There's probably a lot more, I just haven't found them all. Here's another set of those climbing sticks, same property, a few hundred yards away. This set goes up in this oak tree, probably uh, almost 30 feet up there. That's a great spot because you got some good forked uh, pieces up there, good big, you know, big limbs to help give you cover so you don't get busted. And uh, anyway, I, I've climbed up this one too. I would trust them all so far. I haven't been on one yet uh, over here that wouldn't support me and wouldn't make, uh, make for a good spot if it was a place I wanted to be. This particular spot, is uh, next to a, there's a big thicket right behind there. And then there's a road out here on this side. So pretty good spot. It, it's gonna be kind of brushy though. Some serious limb uh, trimming to have to take place to give you some shooting lanes. Those bad boys right there already in place that, uh, that are a positive thing. Uh, this property was exclusively bow hunted by some previous owners and they used these climbing sticks for all their lock-ons and when they took the lock-ons down they left these climbing sticks and these places are scattered everywhere so i hope if you find a piece of property that you bow hunt i hope that it was previously owned by bow hunters and they did this kind of job on climbing sticks on their setups it'll save you a ton of work and especially when you're a fat boy like me in the summer putting up uh, lock-ons with your own climbing sticks and stuff it's a lot of work but if th this is already done, half the battle is already fought. When you see these in the woods, don't be afraid of them. Go check them out first. Don't be stupid. Go check them out. And if they're rock solid, man, you may have just stumbled in to some time-saving gold mine. So anyway, just there you go.